What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Real quick, say hi to Logan for me. Hey bud, how you doing? That's a good boy, that's a good boy. Look at it, look at it. When you're trying to lose weight and get in shape, the most important component is your diet. If you want your body to be a Lamborghini, a well-oiled machine, you gotta put premium fuel in it. But don't you guys worry, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make delicious beef teriyaki stir-fry meal prep bowls in under 45 minutes. Not only is each one loaded down with protein, low in calories, perfect for your diet, but these are extremely delicious even after you microwave them and you're gonna have enough meals to feed you for the entire week. That way you can take the guesswork out of lunch while still eating good and losing weight all at the same time. And if you want all of my meal prep recipes, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, high in protein, low in calories, perfect for your diet, that way you're eating good, not eating just chicken, rice, and broccoli and still losing weight all at the same time, don't forget you can get a copy of my cookbook at the first link in the description box. Not only do we have over 300 pages in this bad boy, it grows every single week, so when I drop new videos, new recipes, they get added to the book for free. If that ain't a deal, I don't know what is, baby. Hit that link down below in my description if you want to check it out. All right, folks, without further ado, if y'all are ready with an epic video underway, then as always, man, Wogan's here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! In rule one of meal prep, you need some containers. I just use simple Rubbermaid containers, picked them up at Kroger, really cheap. You pay a couple extra bucks for a name brand like Rubbermaid, they last longer. You're gonna use them a lot more, they're not gonna warp in the dishwasher. So start with a good meal prep container base and you're gonna be just fine. So we're gonna need five of these, one for every day of the week. Oh yeah, as always, I'm doing a giveaway in every video for the world's best tasting protein bar, the Anabar. If you wanna be entered to win, like the video, be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'll announce the winner in my next video. And later on in this one, we'll also have a winner to announce. So enter that giveaway, get your containers ready, now let's whip this thing up quick. All right guys, the first thing we need to start with is our rice. This will take about 40 minutes to cook in a rice cooker. So we wanna do this first, that way we can be done in under 45 minutes. So what I have here is 450 grams of plain white rice. I'm gonna pour it down in here. And what I love about rice cookers is they take all the guesswork out of it and they're only like 20 bucks. Perfect rice every time, can't beat that. You might be able to see that, maybe not. There's a three cup line here. I just need to fill this up with water to that line. And perfect. And now all we gotta do, slap a lid on it, click this over to cook, and it'll do its thing once it's finished this will pop up, it'll stay warm and hold for hours until we need it. Couldn't get any easier than this. And while this is doing its thing, let's get our teriyaki sauce ready. And in order to do that, we're gonna need a medium sized saucepan and a food scale. We're gonna sit this right on top. We're gonna start by adding 240 grams of water. After that, we need 120 grams of low sodium soy sauce. Then we're gonna need 90 grams of swerve brown sugar. It's zero calorie and the closest thing to real brown sugar that I've been able to find. If you have trouble finding this, just use your favorite zero calorie sweetener and this will still turn out amazing. After that, we need 12 grams of minced garlic and 12 grams of ginger paste. Next, we need 21 grams of sugar-free honey. If you don't have sugar-free honey, regular honey will work too. It has the same amount of calories, so don't stress it. And then finally, to give it that authentic teriyaki flavor, we got some sesame oil. We're not gonna use a ton because this is high in calories, but we're gonna drip five grams right down in here. And now that we got all the ingredients for our sauce in the pan, I'm gonna sit it off to the side. I'm gonna get another small bowl, and what we have to do is combine a little water and cornstarch that we're gonna toss into the sauce mixture once it heats up. That's gonna make it thicken up and be more of the consistency of a sweet and sour sauce and less liquidy than you see right here. We're just gonna add 60 grams of water in a small bowl, and we're gonna combine that with 18 grams of cornstarch. I'm just gonna go in, stir it together until it's cloudy, just like so, and once we do that, it's time to make this sauce come together. Come on. So what we need to do is place the pot on the stove. We're gonna set it to a medium high heat. And all we wanna do is slowly whisk this while it heats up. This might take three, four, five minutes. Essentially, once you can't see the brown sugar in there anymore and it's dissolved, you'll know you're good to go. And after a few minutes, this is heated up, the sugar's dissolved, we're gonna dump in our cornstarch slurry. Then we're gonna raise the heat to high. And I'm gonna go in, mix everything together, let this come to a boil. And then once it's boiling like this, you can already see on the edges, it's starting to thicken up. That's what the cornstarch is doing. So you'll notice it's less watery, it starts to get thicker. So at this point, all we're gonna do is whisk it intermittently, maybe three, four, five minutes until it reaches the desired thickness. After that, we'll move from the heat and move on to the next step. All right, guys, after a little bit of time, this is thickened up and it is ready to go. We're gonna set it off to the side for now. And then now we need to get the veggies ready. I have a 425 gram pack of a stir fry veggie blend. There's broccoli, pepper, some carrots in here. Really everything we need. Your grocery store should have big bags of stir fry veggies just like this. They might not contain the exact same stuff. The veggies are so low in calories, we can really swap these in and out without affecting the overall nutrition too much. So what I'm gonna do with this is preheat a skillet to high heat. Make sure you hit it with nonstick, of course. And then what we're gonna do is fry these veggies. Although they're frozen, on a high heat, it'll thaw 
along quick. Get rid of all that water and these will be perfect. So we're gonna dump the whole bag down in here. Then we're gonna go ahead, flatten everything out. Then I'm gonna season it generously with some kosher salt and some black pepper. And then now it's essentially a waiting game. These are gonna slowly thaw, start to cook. I'm gonna keep mixing them up. Might take roughly five to eight minutes or so, but I'm gonna stick with it. And in the end, we're gonna have beautiful stir fry veggies for this meal prep. We just finished up the stir fry veggies. They're smelling great. They're softened. They're gonna be perfect for this meal prep recipe. Now what we're gonna do is set this off to the side and I'm telling you guys we only have one step left. This is gonna be the easiest meal prep you've ever done. Let me show you. Finally, all we're gonna need is two pounds or 996 grams of 96% lean ground beef. And all we need to do with this is toss it in the skillet and cook it until it's browned. Oof. And the higher heat we cook this on, the faster this will all come together. Here we go, guys. Once it's browned, we're gonna take our stir-fried veggies, put them in with the beef. Then after that, we'll add in our thickened sauce. Then I'm just gonna go in, mix everything together, let that sauce get coated all over the veggies and all over the beef. All right, once everything is coated, I'm gonna let this sit on high heat for a couple more minutes, let everything heat through, and then we're ready to sort this into containers. And check this out, guys. I just looked at the timer on my phone and it's been 42 minutes since we started. And that's with me moving cameras and filming a video during. So if I can do it in that amount of time, you should be able to do it even quicker. And check out how perfect that rice cooker is. Look how fluffy and picturesque that rice looks. Really, I can't understate enough how much of a good deal it is to spend $20 on a rice cooker. It'll simplify your entire life. Now, let's sort this into containers. First thing we'll do is take our rice. We're gonna eyeball this and put an even portion in each one of our containers. And then once we got the rice divvied out, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with our stir. Fry. Let's get a nice big helping and dump it right down in there. Perfect. And then once we got them all built for some added flair, I'm gonna take some toasted sesame seeds, sprinkle a little bit on top of our beef, and then finally for a pop of flavor, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of green onion right on the top of each of these meals. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, we just made meals for the entire week. And there we have it, folks. Told you this was stupid simple. Now, in regards to storing these meals, if you're gonna eat them all within the next five days, pop the Tupperware lid on and just pull it out and re-microwave it when it's time to eat. That sauce is gonna keep a lot of moisture in this meal. It's gonna hold its flavor the entire time. If you wanna freeze these meals, you can always do that. Lock in the freshness. Then the night before you wanna eat it, put it in the fridge, it'll thaw overnight and it'll be ready for the next day. That way, if you miss a meal one of the days, you don't gotta throw anything away. Just pop it in the freezer and you'll be good to go. So folks, now that we've known how to put all this together, let me break down the nutrition and try these things out. Come on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Time to give away the world's best tasting protein bar, the Anna Bar. The giveaway winner from the last video is David with the comment. Hi, Ram, you're such an inspiration to me and my wife. 12 months ago, I was 380 pounds, eating literally everything that wasn't nailed down. My wife said, if I keep going the way I am, I won't be around later to enjoy it. I literally broke down in tears, but today, February 8th, I'm at a lean 215 pounds, following your recipes, I don't miss a video. I can't say enough how grateful and thankful I am for you. Holy crap, man. I can say the same thing to you. I'm grateful and thankful that you shared your story because I'm not gonna lie, when I was looking through the comments, this one uh, made me tear up just a tiny bit. But I'm so happy for you and so freaking proud, seriously. It takes a lot to quit a bad habit and drop 165 pounds and you did it. So massive W, man. You earned your free box of Anabars. Email me at the email in the description box below. I will get this out to you ASAP. Appreciate you so very much. For everybody else, if you wanna try the best tasting protein bar in the world, head over to theanabar.com, use my code RJF10, you're gonna save money. And I'm telling you, if you're trying to diet, you're trying to meal prep and you want something that it tastes like dessert, literally tastes like a candy bar, yet you're still getting 21 grams of protein, then this right here, I promise you, is your best bet. Shout out to everybody that checks it out. I know if you do, you won't regret it. Anyways, let's get to this meal. Gotta give her a good old taste test. Let me get some of this beef, some of this broccoli, some of the veggies. Ooh, three, two, one, let's get it. Mm, wow, this is probably the tastiest meal prep I've ever made on this channel. The teriyaki sauce we made is incredible. So much flavor, sweetness, coats all the beef, the veggies, makes it a little moist, really gives flavor to every single bite. Mm. It's gonna make reheating this thing that much better because of all the moisture in the sauce. Something simple like chicken and rice will get really dry about day five. You're gonna feel like you're chewing on cardboard, but this, because of that moisture, it keeps this fresh, full of flavor, something you won't mind eating even on the fifth day. 
Mm. Now down to the nutrition. In each one of our little meal prep bowls here, what we have per meal is only 424 calories with just eight grams of fat, a whopping 43 grams of protein, 45 grams of carbs with three grams of fiber. What this is right here, folks, is a very well-balanced meal. Not too much fat, only eight grams, only 424 calories. We're still getting 43 grams of protein with 45 grams of carbs and a little fiber in there as well. No matter who you are on a diet, the nutrition in this bowl right here is quite literally perfect. On top of that, we were able to get this all whipped up and under 45 minutes and we've now eliminated all that time throughout the rest of the week and we can stick to our diet. That's the whole thing with meal prep. You guys know how it is. You start a diet on Monday, you make your food, but by Wednesday you get a little hungry at lunch, you didn't remember to bring anything and next thing you know you're going through the drive through and you repeat that cycle over and over and over again. If you fail to prepare, then be prepared to fail. That's a motto I heard a long time ago and it's always stuck with me. If you want to truly be successful on your diet, you got to make the most out of the time you have. And when you can whip up a week's worth of lunches or dinners, wherever you put these in under 45 minutes and you're getting this type of nutrition and it tastes as good, it's quite literally a no brainer, folks. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you decide to make this meal prep, make sure you tag me on Instagram, take a pretty picture, Facebook, wherever it is your social, let me know what you think. And as always, if you own a copy of the RGF Anabolic Cookbook, it has been updated. So this meal prep recipe is now in there along with every other meal prep recipe, the breakfast, lunch, dinners, desserts, quite literally everything you need to follow the best diet in the world. We're eating good, delicious food. We're just making the best possible versions. That way, instead of giving up the pizza, the donuts and feeling miserable, we can still make them, eat them, enjoy them, and lose weight all at the same time. If that sounds good to you, hit that link in my description box. Cause I know if you truly follow us in here, you will see results no matter what, I friggin' guarantee it. And there we have it, folks. That's gonna make a video. If you guys would like to see more meal prep recipes like this, you gotta sound off in the comment section below. If you wanna work with me in any capacity, I can make you a meal plan, a training plan, literally coach you through your weight loss journey. You can check out all my programs at RemingtonJamesFitness.com. If you ever like the clothes I'm wearing in these videos, this is just a basic cutoff tee from Young LA. But I always gotta show the joggers with the cargo pockets, the cool styling, pockets for your wallet, your keys, hugs the derriere. You can always check out everything they got at YoungLA.com. My good RGF saves you money and keeps you styling. And with that, folks, we're out of here. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Y'all rock. Thank you for all the support on the channel. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Wham, bam, bam, baby. We gone. Mm.